Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be an Edmonton Oilers versus Winnipeg Jets NHL playoff series preview. In the next of our series preview, as I'll be doing the Canadians and Toronto series preview later. I'm sorry for getting this video out a little bit later than I wish. You'll probably tell my throat's still a little scratchy. I woke up feeling really lousy overnight and had to rest and relax, and it took me until later in the day today to feel better and feel good enough to do a video, but I definitely wanted to get these out. So let's get right Right into it. By the numbers, you would think coming into these series, if you look at the defensive stats of Edmonton in terms of goals allowed, um, they're ranked 11th, guess where the Jets are ranked? 10th, so pretty much even. Shots on goals allowed, they're ranked 21st, the Jets are ranked 20th, so pretty much even. Uh, penalty kill Edmonton has a slight advantage there, they're ranked 9th to the 13th of the Jets. And then the Jets are actually a little bit of the more disciplined uh, team by a smidge, uh, being ninth in penalty minutes to 14th by the Oilers. So if you look by the numbers there, they seem really close. And then 7th, both have top 10 power plays, 7th for the Jets, the uh, top kahuna for the Oilers because of Leon Dreisaitl and Connor McDavid just being legends on the power play. And then you obviously have Darnell Nurse and you have Tyson Barry who are both very good pivotal guys to have for your power play as well and offensively on your defense. But in terms of goals, that's where it's a little bit separated here. Edmonton's up at 7, um, and then um, because of their struggles kind of later in the season, I guess is the way to put it, Winnipeg's down at 12. And their stats still by the numbers are fairly close, like I named for this series. 7 to 12 is still not that far. All their defensive stats are either a one stat difference, other than the penalty kill that I brought up as 9th for Edmonton and 13th for Winnipeg. So you would think by the numbers, this would be a series that would go at least six games. And that's where by the numbers I would normally have it, but just by the feel of the series and watching Winnipeg closing out the season. They have been less than impressive. They close out the season at three and seven. Winnipeg close or Winnipeg close out the season at three and seven. The Winnipeg Jets, where the Edmonton Oilers close out the season all the way at seven and three, a reverse of that record, had a good closeout. They're very solid at home at sixteen and twelve, and very good at the road at nineteen and seven. The only thing that's really benefiting the Jets from the struggle bunny into the playoffs is the fact that they're one of the better road teams at seventeen and ten, and actually just add a quit at home they're only 13 13 and 2 so that's really the only thing benefiting them coming in and then just going by the statistical numbers of the overall season but I like to go from how have you been coming into the playoff and the Winnipeg Jets have not been a very hot team whatsoever coming into the playoffs even before 10 games the last really 15 games have been shaky either 3 and 7 in their last 10 uh, they're a team that really is coming into the playoffs sputtering, where that is just not at all what you want to do. At least if you came in at 500, like the Canadians, which I'll get into when I do that series preview, you're a little bit better there at the 4 4 and 2 mark. They did. They're coming in at 3 and 7, really struggling, and just kind of getting two wins in the back half of the season. Um, because certain guys were not even playing for other teams. So I think the Winnipeg Jets are going to be a team that they could impress and go six games, but I, unfortunately for Jets fans and fortunate for Edmonton fans, have this series go into the Edmonton Oilers in five games because they've just been cruising. They've been playing really well. If you put them on the power play, they're dangerous. But Paul Jarvie coming back over has added another offensive element to that team. You still have Nugent Hopkins. you got got uh, Yamamoto. Um, obviously, you have some guys that actually step up that are kind of those meat and potatoes that bring jam to your team that it kind of shows out more in the playoffs and the chase on of the world and the Zach Cassians of the world. Those guys tend to show up and show out more in the playoffs. So they got a great mix. Then you got the Leon Dreisaitl and Connor McDavid duo, which I don't think they'll ever get to the championships of Crosby and Malkin, but they're definitely the current young comparables of what they do. Whenever McDavid goes down, Dre tends to elevate his game like Malkin did for Crosby. And then 
McDavid, just like Crosby, tends to just keep smooth sailing no matter what's going on with the team. He's at 105 points. Definitely going to be your Hart Trophy nominee. I think those two, plus you're going to see guys like the um, Cassians of the world, the Chase Sons, that are those meat and potato guys that add jam to your team. Step up in the playoffs for the Edmonton Oilers. Even the small meat and potato guy like Archibald that likes getting into the nitty-gritty areas definitely could step up as well in this series. So I really like this Oilers team for getting past the Winnipeg Jets. They're coming in hot. Uh, Mike Smith's coming in with very good numbers, 21-6, and six, having a stellar season at the age of 39. Congratulations to him in 32 games, a 2.31. So that combined with how offensive up the ante from their defense with the Nurse and Barry line, and also obviously McDavid and Dreisaitl just, I think, being able to just kind of pound into the Jets, who really, to round out the season, were nothing but impressive, or no, nothing less than uh, not being impressive, I should say, where their defense really was letting guys just come at them, and you have the two best in the league, the best current duo in the league on the Edmonton Oilers, and that's not going to fare well for a Jets team that's coming into a playoffs really sputtering and having to rely late in the season where they were actually pretty good this year being a more thorough throughout team and not having to heavily rely due to some defensive gaps on Connor Hellebuck, which is no problem since he's one of the best goalies. He has a 2.58 and 9.16 and 24 and 17. But that's what they started going to late in the season in their struggle. If you have to heavily just rely on your goalie, Edmonton's just going to keep coming right at you via that dry side of McDavid combo, that first line on their defense with Nurse and Barry, and the others I mentioned earlier, that it's just going to be no contest. From the skill of the Andre Kopp uh, having a good breakout season this year, Stastny, Shifley, Wheeler, uh, the Connor line, this game, sh this series should ideally go six games due to the skill the Jets are able to have. They have Perot, they have Appleton, they have Lowry, they have guys that should be those meat and potatoes jam guys in the playoffs. It's just, I have no confidence picking the Jets to go six because of how much they've been sputtering into the postseason, and that's why I'm having it go five to Edmonton in this series, because I think they're coming in hot, they've been more hot the entire season, the Jets unfortunately got cold at the worst time of the season, the end of the season coming into the playoffs, and I think that's going to hurt them against an Oilers team that seems the most locked in that this team has been in a while. I hope you all enjoyed this series preview, I hope you all enjoyed the past series preview, I'm going to link the playlist and you can watch all the other series previews even for the series that started, because I obviously talk about how I feel the whole series is going to go. I really appreciate your support. Please like, comment, and subscribe everyone here at Sports Fanatic News, and also over at Steel Flyers and Flyers Nitty Gritty and Off the Wall Hockey and Peyton on the radio. We at the Steel Flyers gang really appreciate your support. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy this great series between the Winnipeg Jets and Edmonton Oilers. Peace out, everybody.